Welcome back to ZM Jack. Today we have Gunslinger Suicidal Farmhouse. The voice is getting better too, with uh, with all the streaming that I'm doing. I'm not feeling as uh, as worn out by the end of the day, which is, is nice. And we actually did a bit of a longer stream today because the Gunfire Reborn uh, ending segment went on uh, an extra half an hour. Um, so uh, we actually had a, a bit of a, a longer stream, and uh, I've done the most recording. Like this is a, a long recording day, you know. I've got the extra Yamajack tries in it. Um, we've, we've only got the one more episode of uh, KF2 to record. It's a uh, it's a long day, you know. So it's a very very long day, and yeah, voices uh, voices completely, totally, just you know. Powering through it, and uh, I can respect that for sure. I'm into it. I'm here for it. It's it's nice to have the uh, the voice. I'm not getting worn out because while the voice wasn't that bad on the on the other days, I mean it's just annoying. You know what I mean? I haven't had to clear my throat as much. I uh, like all this talking. It's doing it's doing good for me at this point more than uh, more than bad. So. Yeah, it's uh, not as not as strained, I suppose. Not as strained. I'm not as worn out. I'm tired. I'm, I'm extremely tired. Like, highly, highly tired. But, uh, not, like, strained. I'm not worn out. I'm not, uh, you know? Anyway. It looked like spring, maybe. But I was, I was hitting those shots pretty dang well. Let's see. What do we have to talk about? Not really much. You know, not really much. I've been eating butter noodles lately. I mean, I've been eating butter noodles on uh, on the regular. You know, I made them before, man, uh, many months ago. Like, it was... Uh, butter noodles have always been... I have I have leftover pasta in the fridge. What am I going to do with it? Oh, butter, butter noodles. Easy. You know, it's not... Well, they were never, like, a, a dish that would go out of my way to make. And, um... Yeah, they were, they were like, five minutes. You have, like... A tasty enough dish and you're good to go right no complaints but I'm not gonna you know if I'm gonna make pasta I'm gonna make pasta you know what I mean like I'm gonna make something that's uh, better than, than uh, butter noodles um, but the other day I had uh, I had butter noodles I, had, uh, I don't make it with noodles necessarily I make it with whatever pasta I happen to have I actually prefer it without noodles but you know I just make it with whatever I have because it's just I don't know. Pasta is pretty much interchangeable for for most sauces, honestly. Like for 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 most sauces, the type of uh, of pasta that you use doesn't really matter. And a lot of people might get mad at me for that, but like, sure, it might be best experienced with with you know like spaghetti, you know spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, maybe maybe it's best experienced with with spaghetti noodles. You replace the spaghetti noodles with like shells. It still tastes fine. It's still it's still perfectly acceptable. It's not spaghetti and meatballs anymore. Like it's literally a different dish. But like you know, the the, the pasta that you the, the, of your choice is, is pretty much interchangeable for for most things. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's just beat me up, I guess. Um. So, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of my philosophy on uh, on pastas. But anyway, I've been having a butter noodle lately. I made them the other day, and they were just like, they were so good, dude. I don't know. I don't know what the difference was. What I've what I've been doing differently, but I don't know. It's been a while since I made them, and I guess I forgot how to make them. And then, in the process of uh, of remembering, I I made them better. So, I don't know, because I don't feel like I'm doing anything different. But, um, yeah. Uh, if you haven't had butter noodles, by the way, you're not missing out. Um, even though I did really, I have, I've actually been making like pasta for the sake of of uh, of having butter noodles at times. Even like last night for dinner, I actually I made some spaghetti noodles and I made some uh, butter butter noodles. And they were uh, they were really quite good. So uh, if you haven't had butter noodles before, what they are is uh, I mean the recipe's in the name pretty much. Uh, it's like pretty much the only ingredients. You make some some pasta of some sort, noodles or something. You know, pick your favorite pasta, make make it. And uh, if you don't know how to make pasta, then this dish is probably above you. 
Um, because you're probably like, I don't know, four. You, you put pasta in a big pot of water, you boil it until it tastes good. And that's, <laughs> there's your, there's your recipe for pasta. Um, for most pastas, anyway. Uh, anyway. Um, so you make, you make your favorite pasta. And, uh, then, like, just before it's finished cooking to your desired doneness, um, yeah, you dump it into a, uh, a pan with, uh, with some butter in it that you have warmed up to get it done just in the right time. Which for me usually means I overcook my pasta because I just don't care really. It's not a big deal. Um, and then uh, you just you just mix it up in the in the hot butter, right? And you probably want like for like an amount of pasta that you'd have probably like I don't know a little under a tablespoon of butter. Like it's it's quite a bit of butter that you. would you put in them like butter's the main focal point of uh, the dish for sure, and uh, you you mix them up in the butter, right? You add in whatever other junk you want. Like if you got some, you know, if you want to add some some chicken in or something like that, like go for it. You have some chicken fat or something. Replace some of the butter with it, I guess. Um, toss in a little bit of pepper, right? A little bit of pepper plate it right get a get it on a plate in a bowl or something and then uh, grate some this some parmesan over top of it and then then eat it and it's pretty good it's uh, it's like 15 minutes from start to finish you know for extra credit for extra credit you can uh, add in some some pasta water to the to the butter mixture with the uh, with the pasta when you put it in there and then boil it off let it uh, Thicken it up a little bit and give it a, a nice, uh, a superior, less greasy kind of feeling to it. But at the same time, I mean, it's kind of what butter noodles are about. So you need to. Is it a particularly healthy dish? <laughs> no. God no. Um, it's literally butter and carbs. Is 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 literally the dish. It's it's butter and carbs. That's 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 the dish. I mean, but it tastes good. But I mean, I guess it does because you know it's butter and carbs. What you think that's gonna taste bad? Like, come on, dude. <laughs> it's the two guilty pleasures that uh, that mankind have. Um, bonk. So anyway, that's your that's your butter noodles, and uh, it it tastes really really good if you do it right, which I've only apparently learned how to do recently, but I really like it. So can't have it like it's not a daily thing, but. You know, it's uh, I, I like the way that I used to handle it before I made uh, before I started making uh, pasta for the sake of having butter noodles. You know, because I'd uh, you know you make uh, some kind of pasta dish or whatever. You have a little bit of leftover plain pasta next day for lunch or whatever. Mix up some pot, some butter noodles. Maybe maybe the day after, I mean, pasta lasts in the fridge for like plain pasta, plain cooked pasta lasts in the fridge for I mean quite a while. Not really at risk of uh, expiring anytime soon. Well, soon, but like, you got you got, you got time anyway. You know, so that's that's typically what I would do if I make pasta and I have to have some leftover noodles, some plain stuff because there was just like too much or whatever. Lunch, butter noodles, easy. But that's not a particularly healthy thing. You can't really add too many. Uh, veggies into it and stuff to make it taste good either because um i don't know it just doesn't really go with the noodles and the pasta in my opinion like at that point i'm just like i don't know i'll just <laughs> make something else i'll just make something you know better so you can't really uh add too many uh veggies and stuff into it so it's not it's not a healthy dish definitely not it's definitely high in uh, high in carbs, high in fat, high in calories. It's it's all the things you don't want as uh, as somebody in my position of uh, trying to lose weight. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like a, a, a it's like Weight Watchers' worst uh, nightmare. You know, it's uh, you know what it is. You know what it is. It's Keto's worst nightmare. <laughs> butter noodles. So I mean, on Keto they see butter noodles. Like, oh my God, it's it's the devil. I don't know, I'm still losing weight. I'm still. Doing fine, you know everything in moderation, right? It's 
not about so yeah it's the other thing is uh it's all these like fancy diets and stuff and i mean if it helps you keep yourself motivated or whatever it's it's fine but at the end of the day the the thing that really well there is like fasting does help with like autophagy and, and stuff like that um there are like certain effects that um certain diets can have keto i don't think is really based on anything at all um the only, the only, the only, the only thing we can really do is like fast, um, like a water fast or something, um, or like intermittent fasting is, is definitely, um, like there, there are benefits to intermittent fasting, uh, but like for the most part diets are, it's just about like calories in, calories out, right, like, you don't really have to worry about your, 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 your nutrients, like your carbs and stuff, so much, um, as long as you're hitting your your calorie goals, you're gonna be fine, and some things are gonna have more calories than others, and uh, you'll you'll be completely fine from a weight perspective. Although your like health as as a whole might not necessarily get better uh, until you start to to focus on the the macro and the micro even nutrients. Make sure you're getting all your make sure you're getting all your your vitamins and your proteins and amino acids and you know, all all this kind of fancy stuff and uh but but at the end of the day i mean a diet is is just calories in calories out psycho you know kiko so it's nothing more than that nothing more than that I mean, with, 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 with respect to fasting and i do want to try out fasting i used to do intermittent fasting actually um intermittent fasting was how i lost the initial 50 pounds that i lost um I, don't know, I found it easiest to do. Um, yeah, I found it, I found it easiest, uh, and so I did that, and I lost 50 pounds. And then I stopped intermittent fasting, and I put it all back on, and it's all going off again. So, weight is still progressing down, but haven't been doing intermittent fasting this time. Um, I do want to try out fasting though. I want to try out a more intense fasting though, because uh, you can do like. Now, fasting is something that that does have uh, some some. There are there are, a there are, there are health benefits to fasting, um, and there are health like detriments to fasting. There there's there's pros and cons to it, and, and pretty much anybody can can go ahead and fast. And don't quote me on this. I'm not a medical professional. Talk to your doctor if you're gonna try any new fancy diets or anything like that. You know, don't don't talk to some random YouTuber on the internet. You go talk to your doctor. Um, but, uh, goodness gracious. Um, you know, but, um, like, uh, fasting, any, pretty much anybody can fast for a day, two days. You know, I'm not saying, uh, you'd, you'd be able to, like, mentally handle it, but your body physically would be unaffected in a, in a negative light from it. Uh, you would have... Uh, some neutral and, and positive effects from it, like um, autophagy or whatever. Uh, I believe which which can happen. I don't know the the science behind it, so I don't know. Who knows? Um, but I, I I believe that uh, fasting does promote uh, a, an increased metabolism or, or something of that nature. Um, an interesting diet that I actually learned that I was reading up on yesterday because I was looking up fasting. Um, so I want to like look at the excited I want to try it. I want to try fasting for like uh, just just as long as I as I can. Just just not as a as a diet or as a weight loss thing, but just as a uh, as a as like an experiment in in self control and um, why not? Like it's, I want to. I just want to see like how, how how long can you go without without eating? You know what I mean? Um, so I was looking up like you know what are the um, like. You know, what, what, what safety concerns are there when it comes to, to fasting? How long can you do it before it becomes something that's, you know, dangerous? How long uh, should you be doing it before it's, you know, maybe you should be discussing with the doctor before you do it or whatever? And uh, it seems like the limit is about three days, like 72 hours of, uh, of fasting is, is about the limit of what any person should do um, before without having, like, medical supervision. I don't know. Like like I said, talk to your doctor before you do anything that sounds stupid. Um obviously you know but uh, i was looking it up because I, I wanted to see just just for my own sake like 
I mean, a what what is it what is it like to to go that long without fasting? Um, and uh, I don't know, just 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 to see like my own capabilities and limits and stuff. Just just because I I think that is it's fascinating. Um, but then I, I like I look at, uh, at people who like have done like long term like water fasts or something like that. Like people have done like twenty day water fast or something like that, and it's like they lost so much weight. You know, and obviously, right? Like the as you're moving and, and doing stuff, like you're still consuming energy. You're still you're still moving and, and consuming that energy, and that has to come from somewhere. So it comes from your fat stores, which is you know the purpose of them. And like I just I don't want to do that. I don't, I want to <laughs> I want to I want to fast, but I don't want the weight loss to go that fast. Like that's that's not the point of the of the fast, but it's 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 what would happen. So I'm like I don't know. It feels like something I wouldn't want to do. So I was, uh, I was thinking maybe about trying like a two-day fast kind of thing, and and just seeing how that goes, just for funsies, just to experience it for once. I've done like a 12-hour fast. I mean, like I said, I used to do intermittent fasting, which was typically about 24 hours, 20, 20 to 24 hours between meals, which was uh, you know very acceptable. Anyway, so the like interesting diet that I saw on. Uh, on uh, on the internet the other day, yesterday when I was looking up fasting, um, is uh, it's called like every other day fasting or like alternate day fasting or something like that, and um, it's definitely not a healthy diet I don't think. Uh, like looking at it, my my like this is dumb kind of like radar is going off on it, but it was it was an interesting idea and uh, one that I think could could help some people maybe I don't know, um, but it was basically you eat every other day. And that's it. You know, so like today I eat, tomorrow I don't eat. I don't have to worry about calories, I don't have to worry about carbs, I don't have to worry about anything. Just just eat your normal amount of food, however much you are eating as a fat person. Whatever you're eating as a fat person, but just do it every other day. You've you've halved your your, your calorie intake. Right? Like effectively. And it's like if you look at it over like a you know we look at like calories and stuff as like a per day thing. Look at it as like a two-day thing, you know. Instead, all of a sudden, yeah, your, your calorie intake per day is, is halved, right? Per per like segment of time, anyway, it's that's uh, halved. So it's it would it would effectively not have your weight because that's that's not quite how it works. Um, but you you would see substantial, you would see a substantial deficit, like a huge deficit, and um, that would that would promote weight loss right like obviously um, so it was a, it was an interesting one it was it, it gave me the as I was reading about it I was like I don't know this feels kind of like something that somebody who really really just wants to continue like binge eating but really also wants to lose weight came up with they're like well I guess I'll just eat every other day then and I'll just eat as much as I want like I don't want to give up my McDonald's you know it felt uh, it felt like a cop-out to me and it, it doesn't really solve the underlying problem and uh, you know you're kind of gonna be stuck with uh, with the with the, with the basic problem that the, the, you know if you had an eating disorder or something like that like it's, it's not really gonna help it doesn't feel like um, you know because you're not uh, you're not fixing it you're just eating the uh, the food you're not eating anymore you know what I mean Feels like it feels like an eating disorder, but I don't know. Maybe it's medically, uh, maybe it's medically sound. I'm not a doctor, dude. I don't know what's medically sound and what isn't. But that gave me my uh, this is dumb kind of radar, for sure. Definitely gave me the, the this is dumb radar for for sure. No doubt about that. You can't shoot me if I'm sta if I'm kneeling down. Okay, we've been over this. Where are you going? Where are you going? I can't see him, dude. Dang farmhouse. So that was a, an interesting one, anyway. Not one that I would try. Not one that I would try. I'm not into the... Yeah, I want to eat every day. I want to enjoy my food. I just want to eat a healthy amount of food. Like, my, my, my preferred diet is just eat when I'm hungry and, and eat like a... Rec like, not a recommended, but like... I don't know. Put, put a amount of food on my plate and then um, eat it and then if I'm full stop eating and if I'm hungry then eat 
basically. This is my kind of uh Oh dear. That clot. Suicide bomber man. You can't, you can't, you can't grab me. Let me try it, man. Please, 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 I beg of you. No. 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 I'm running out of ammunition, man. Are we not going to be able to beat this guy on suicidal? Are we going to run out of bullets? Are we really going to run out of bullets here? Is this going to happen? Please don't. This is his last. He doesn't get to recover anymore, though, okay? This is it. Oh, dear. Please, I want to win. I want to win. It's suicidal. It's it's not... It shouldn't be... This shouldn't be hard. Yo! No! We were so close, dude. Ah, oh, that one hurt. Like, we just... Farmhouse, this guy, he's got to... He's able to, to book it, man. Alright. Anyway. Moral of the story is I want to wanna try out fasting just as, a, as an experiment, but... You know, I don't think it's really a, a healthy way to, to lose weight. And um, I know that that would be what would happen. And so I'm like, I don't really want to do it because the weight loss isn't the point. I just I want to try it, but I can't. Um... Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.